We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Colorado Rockies and the San Diego Padres. It's Padres baseball next on the show. Joey Lucchese, the southpaw out of the Golden State, gets the call here. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you take a look at that ERA, and it's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start creeping back down. Off he definitely four, needs to start pitching a lot the better than he has up to this Trevor point, and it'll be Ford. interesting to see if he can turn it around in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Trevor Story is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning 1 and 0. Guys, the swing and Friars as they take the field here tonight, they come in playing well. 6 and 3 over the last 9 ball games including a victory last time out. Yeah, Maddie, they've been playing some quality baseball. The first 4 games of this homestand, they've taken 3 out of the first 4, looking to capitalize and continue to play good ball today. You know, Dero, this is time to get greedy. When you win 3 of the first 4, boy, if you can win 4 out of the first that 5, exactly. that sub the sets up baseball. a really nice stretch of baseball. They'd love to win this one here today and keep that roll going. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. Daniel Murphy is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. And he fouls this one off. Lucchese is at least partially known for a good changeup, and it's not just any change of speed pitch, it dances all over the place. Story on at first, nobody out. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Just flat out frozen there. Nothing too deceptive about that, that four seam fastball, so I think he wasn't expecting Holy. it at all. Or another. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Coming down in buckets, cats and dogs, insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy wet, Matt, and I don't know how much more rain this field can take. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Matthew Ross. Hey, d -Row, this is a pitcher's best friend. Matthew Ross, very wide strike zone. Yeah, no excuses from the offense today. You know coming in, when you see the lineup card and Matt Ross is behind the dish, you better be aggressive. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two that aboard four. now. The right fielder. Hey, guys, Sorry. right there. You look what? for weaknesses. Can a guy come in? Can he command in? Obviously not the case in this situation. He went to the well outside half three times, and eventually the batter made a nice adjustment. Charlie Blackman comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Oh. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0-2, he's almost certainly out. 1-1, he's got a chance to really do some damage. Runners are at first and second with one away. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as, yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. Popped up. He dives, but he can't make the catch. It's a foul ball. Here he comes again. One, two. Lifted down the line and left. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. First and second now. One man out.
hit back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And the run will score as the Rockies stake themselves to an early 1-0 lead. Hey, that's a big RBI that's single it. right there, d -Roll. They lost the first game of this series, and they certainly don't no. want to fall behind and may potentially lose the first two games of this set. Without question, Dan. Offensively, you're just trying to grind it out, give your team a chance, give the pitcher a chance to relax a little bit, even the series up, hopefully, and fight it out tomorrow. David Dahl is at the plate as he watches ball one. This is exactly the situation you drew up from an offensive standpoint. Good pitcher on the mound, but you got a chance to bury him early in this one. The 1-0. Oh. Now both runners are breaking. He swings and misses. Throw down. It bounces, but he's out. Nice play there to pick the throw and put the tag on quickly. The set and the 1-1. One, one. Ball, that's inside. Down. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Out of the stretch, the 3-1 home. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. The payoff pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Rockies forced to settle for one. On now to the bottom of inning number one. It's the Rockies one. The Padres coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. John Gray, a right-hander from the Sooner State, gets the starting assignment here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, listen, when you can go seven full innings like he did, I know he got a no decision in his last start, but it was a real solid performance. If he continues to pitch like that, the wins are going to start coming. Here's Juan Ligares. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading up for the Padres, the center fielder, Juan Ligares. Here it comes. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up, but this will land untouched. Hey. Right there at the belt, one and two now. Oh. And that's going to be high, two and two now. on a breaking ball that misses away. On deck, there's Eric Hosmer. Now the three and two pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him. And with one away, today, of course, Jackie Robinson Day around Major League Baseball. Man. We had a nice ceremony before the game in honor of Hosmer. number 42. 
as his legacy lives on to this day. Now at the plate, Eric Hosmer, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. First pitch coming, here it is. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. I got a ball, one strike. One out, nobody on. Yeah. Slider finds the zone for a strike. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2 and 2. Fastball just missed above the zone. Tommy Pham is on deck. Three two pitch. High fly ball out to deep right field. Blackman going back at the track. On the warning track he makes the catch. Batting third. No left fielder. Tommy Pham. Stepping up now, Tommy Pham. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Now here's the pitch. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0 2. Multiple ways up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. To 1 and 2 now. Here it comes. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Well, Lays off the one two change up and he's worked it back to two and two. Now the pitch. Neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. Another 2-2 offering. Yanked on the ground down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Padres down in order. They trail this one one to nothing. Started the second here in San Diego, and let's check in with Heidi for a little bit more on the weather. Well, Matt, it doesn't appear that we're going to get much of a break from this rain at all as the game progresses. However, I am also hearing that this rain isn't supposed to intensify too much. The grounds crew will be on standby just in case the umpires do call a delay, but the goal is to get this one in uninterrupted. Yeah, Heidi, and thanks. Even with all the technology that we have today to be able to forecast the weather accurately, one never knows what Mother Nature has in store. Ian Desmond stands in as he checks his swing here for strike one. The windup and the 0-1. 
Oh, got him to swing out of his yep. shoes on okay. that one. Nothing in two. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Yeah, yeah. Matt, right now, this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield, around the mound, and around the home plate area is really getting soaking wet. And I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. The one and two pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. The one two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. They finally get him on a one and two that pitch, but you could see that he wasn't laying down without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, one and oh. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The 1 0 home. Well, that's off the plate. Well, this at bat sets up really good right here, right? Hasn't seen a fastball yet, but now he gets to count at two balls and no strikes. He has to be looking for a fastball right here. Two and one after the foul ball there. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. That's just quality pitching right there for that strikeout. As we look at all five pitches, notice the location, all five down in the zone. Some guys are real good low ball hitters, but more often than not, keeping the ball down is going to lead to a lot of success on the mound. Into the box, Dom Nunez. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one, Nunez. Stands at six foot even. Bats left, throws right. He was taken in the sixth round back in the draft of 2013. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Now the 2 0. 3 and 0 now. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with a bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. And that one's nope. taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two-out base runner. That walk is going to feel a little extra frustrating for this pitcher. Not only do you never really want to walk the number eight hitter, but it's also going to let the pitcher hit this inning instead of forcing him to lead off the next one. Here's the first pitch to him. John Gray is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Here's a pop up now. He lays out, but it's out of his reach, so that's a tough strike, too. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0 2 pitch. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Rockies strand one. He played an inning and a half. It's one to nothing. Last half of the second set to go, and that'll bring forth the Four slugging left. shortstop, Fernando Not Tatis Jr. First offering on its way. Breaking ball drops right in the chute for a strike. Hey, love the pitcher attacking the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate. Might as well steal that first strike. Late swing there at the breaking ball. Must have been looking for something else. 
So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back-to-back -back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. So it was a swinging strike three. Fernando Batty, Tatis fifth. Jr. becomes the, the first base. out here in the bottom Batty. of the second. Machado. Here's Manny Machado now. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. I got one ball, one strike. Gray, originally from the Sooner State of Oklahoma. He was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a I career the way this guy has, nice pick. The one two. Misses, ball two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Hey, doubled up on breaking balls there outside. Now might be the time to bust that fastball in. And he loses him on a breaking ball. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is, is exactly what we saw right, right there. Field. Pitchers work yeah. around them and nibble the corners a lot more Fire. so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. So here's Will Myers. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. From the stretch. Oh, and he had to be looking for something else to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. And he got him. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute missile of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. Here's Brian Dozier now, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. and They'll come into play at 317. One home run, nine driven in. The 1-0 is a fastball well, that misses. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher to just go ahead and challenge him. Two balls and a strike to Dozier. Threw that one. fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. And a 2-1 slider is looked at for a called strike two. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. One left for San Diego. They're down one nothing. New inning set to get underway and stepping in the long ball threat Trevor Story. Trevor Story. First delivery to him on the way. Good pitch on the black. That was the sinker for a strike. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike.
from the windup, the 1 1 pitch. That's ball two. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Boy that's really disappointing for a guy that has now wheels that right. All he wants to do three. is get on base and take yeah, advantage no. of the strength of his game which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there you can't get on first base if you strike out. Daniel Murphy steps in now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now into the windup here comes the 0 2 pitch inside ball one bottom dropped out on him and that's a strikeout. And he makes the throw to first. Murphy is retired. Two down now. Now batting. The third base. So bases are empty here with two gone. And in next, it'll be the perennial MVP candidate, third baseman Nolan Arenado. First pitch on its way. Two out, nobody on. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. And he'll try and tempt him with one of the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0 and 2 count. Just hung in there on that one. Two balls, two strikes to Nolan Arenado. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Outside in a full count, three and two. Now a swing and a little tapper to the left of the mound. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. One, two, three go the Rockies, but they hold a one nothing lead. Coming to the plate now, Francisco McPhee. Individual matchup numbers against John Gray. Two hits in seven tries. Mafia. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. 1 0. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Ball two. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Hey. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2 and 1. You know, he fell behind 2-0, Matty, but he battled right there and got right back in this count. An aggressive fastball middle of the zone. The 2-1 home. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Full count, three and two. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. 
Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Well, there's only a one-run cushion to play with, so he's got to be upset after he walked the leadoff man here. Go-ahead run comes to the plate, and there are no outs. This could be a very interesting inning. So here now is the pitcher, Joey Lucchese. A textbook sack bunt situation here. He's set. Here it comes. And they'll indeed have the pitcher squaring around as he puts this one down. And they'll put the tag on him going to first, but the sacrifice is successful. Sacrifice was in order right there as he gets the bunt down right there. And sometimes it's easier to just tag him instead of making that throw to first base. Digging in for his second at bat, Juan Ligares, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch of the at bat. Outside, that's the ball. One out and a runner on second base. One and one the count. Two and one to Juan Ligares. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Eric Hosmer waits on deck. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Waiting on it is Dahl. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Now batter, the first baseman, Eric. Hosmer. Standing in, Eric Hosmer, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Fiftieth pitch of the game on its way. Hey. He dropped that curveball in for a strike right there, but don't kid yourself, that's a dangerous pitch. He needs to start thinking about maybe working that back door, or that could get some serious damage done to it. Story scoops it up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Padres leave one. They still trail one nothing. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Rockies skipper Bud Black between innings, specifically about his club's offensive output to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. All right, Heidi, thank you. Here's Charlie Blackman now, looking to follow up the, the RBI single the from right his field. first at bat. Yeah, and he's got to feel super Blackman. confident right now. He's the only real offense in this game. Guys on the mound have been executing every pitch. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope. Ball one. Count one and oh. The 1 0 is yeah. in there for strike one. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. This is drilled, but right into the shift. And that's through for another base hit. He'll make it two for two in this one. 
Hey, not an easy thing to do right there, d with now that back. stacked Lefty. infield on the right side. Lefty. You hit it through where the Goal. shift is. You have to hit that in the right place at the right time. Yeah, he found a good result right there, Dan. Pitcher actually executed right there. Got him to hit it where he wanted to. Put good barrel, good contact on that ball. Was able to find the hole. David Dahl to the plate now. Runner at first to start the inning. And, Dan, when it comes to pitching in the rain, what changes? I think the most difficult part, Matt, is the ball gets slippery. It's hard to keep your hands dry. And if you don't have a good feel in that grip, it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball. He's set and the pitch. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. And he misses with it one and one. One run, four hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. Runner, yes, Runners yes. Runners on the move for second. Swing, and he popped him up. Over in foul territory, back behind third. Machado is over, and he puts it away for the first down. Up next for Colorado, the center fielder, Ian Desmond. So a runner on first with one out now. And the next to dig in will be the outfielder Ian Desmond. Has a look. Now the pitch. At the ball. Ball one, no strike. One run, four hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. This one's down to third. Dozier on to Hosmer. A double play, and that ends the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring forth the veteran the outfielder, fielder, Tommy Pham. The left fielder, Tommy. First pitch coming, here it is. Hey. And here's a fastball called for strike one. one, one. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Two quick strikes, and now the 0 2. Changeup called strike three as he rolls his eyes at the call, one away. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see now great hitters have their calls go their shot. way on close Better pitches, but go. not this Just time. Hit. I think that was actually a Junior. good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And that one is gone! Solo shot here to left. Sixth home run on the season for him. And with it, the Padres have drawn even at one run apiece. Well, you could see when that one was tracking towards home. That was a hanging breaker right over the middle part of the plate. And that one wasn't coming back. And in steps Manny Machado. Manny. As he will look at a first pitch Machado. fastball for ball one. He's got that average pushing up near 360 now. Three homers and a dozen RBIs. Nope. And that misses low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. They obviously circled him before the game that they were not going to let him beat them. Walked them this first time up, and now they're nibbling again. Fouled away.
Bases are empty, one man out. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Will Myers is on deck. The 3 1. Heading out towards shallow right. Blackman is under it, and that's the second out of the inning. Now batter, the right fielder, Will Myers. Now at the plate, Will Myers. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Bases are empty here with two men out. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Padres strike back to tie things on the solo home run. We're through four, all even at one apiece. All set for the start of the inning, and stepping in will be the very fleet footed Garrett Hampson. Number 42. First pitch coming, here it is. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Action now in the Padre bullpen as it looks like a right hander is getting loose out there. The 1 0. Is swung on and missed. Strike one. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Pull the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. That's his second strike out of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. So now to the plate, Dom Nunez. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Uh, offered it a low one there, but came up empty. He knows his strengths and weaknesses at the plate. He knows he has a cold zone away. But the bottom line is this pitcher has been able to execute to that spot. If he misses over the heart of the plate, this guy's still going to be ready. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. That's back-to-back -back punch outs, and he's really starting to rack the them up now, guys. The I've got eight strikeouts Go in my scorebook for him now, so he's got good stuff. At the plate, John Gray. This he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Can't fall behind against the pitcher. Need to minimize pitch count against the easy outs, and this is certainly one of them. The 2 0 on the way. And it's fouled away. Oh, 
Ball and this three. one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Trevor Story would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And the three one. In there, and it's full three and two. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. This one's down to third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Colorado. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with San Diego's manager during the inning break about the Padres' offensive production to this point. And he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. Too much of the time they're finding themselves in disadvantage counts like 0-2 and 1-2. And that's basically never a formula for success. He said they're getting a lot of strikes to swing at, so the emphasis the rest of the game has to be to jump on those strikes early in the at-bat. Thank you, Heidi. Leading off for the Padres. Bottom of the inning now, and the that'll bring baseman. up the power hitting second Brian. baseman Brian Dozier. Dozier. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Now batting the catcher, Francisco. Mejia. Digging in, Francisco Mejia reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Hot shot down the line. Uh, this gets foul, it's 0-1. Here's the pitch. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate, it's 1-1. One and one. And here's a pitch Perfect. inside, and that got him. These guys are pros, and they're tough, but I know now that one hurt. He'll the never pitcher. show it, though. Too much Yowie. pride at stake. Luke Casey. Stepping into the box, Joey Lucchese. He did his job and laid down the successful sack bunt in his first appearance. And the way he executed, Matty, can't imagine anything other than him getting another bunt down. In this situation, potential go-ahead run, put him in scoring position, please. Here comes the 0-1. And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. To second for one. Back to Murphy, not in time, and they'll get just the one out. Now batting, the center fielder, Juan Lagarret. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Juan Lagares. He struck out and flied out, 0 for 2 so far. Here's the first offering. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Two and oh. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders. But now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fastball. Two and one. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches. Anything on the outer half of the plate is going to look a foot outside. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Ranging back is Dahl. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Both teams battling the elements thus far, but we've got a tight game through five. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. Cal Quantrill takes over to start now the sixth inning on the mound. Number 42, Cal Quantrill. 
top half of the sixth about to get started. And in to hit next, the power hitting shortstop, Trevor Story. The shortstop, Trevor Story. First pitch coming. Here it is. That's out. Good spot to be in right now as a hitter. Count your favor, 1-0. Good time to get a fastball and turn it loose. Now the pitch. One ball, one strike, the count. Had to be sitting something hard right there because he gave up on that pitch, but it was right down the chute. Here's the one and one pitch. Quantrill, a right-hander standing six foot three. This is his second year as a major leaguer. Hit the other way out toward right field. Myers is under it. He's got it one away. The batter, the first baseman, Daniel Murphy. So digging in now, Daniel Murphy. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Maddie. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. The 1 0 home. Hey! I got one ball, one strike. In tight with the slider, two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Two balls and two strikes to Murphy now. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Ligares is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. Now batting, third baseman, Nolan Arenado. At the plate, Nolan Arenado, one for two in the ball game thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey! Two out, nobody on. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Rockies. Score remains tied one to one. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and set to go is the veteran the first Padre? baseman, Eric Hosmer. The first baseman. Yeah, and this is the guy for Eric. me. I, I think this is the guy Hosmer. in the clubhouse that the guys truly gravitate towards. The total package of Eric Hosmer's game is really special. That's a and he lays off there, 1-0. A oh. couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Hard on the ground towards short. Scorey picks it up. No problem yeah. here. One away. Up next for the Padres, the left fielder, Tommy Pham. Striding in once again, Tommy Pham. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball one. Very impressive outing Ball so one. far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. Swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry, and it's a home run. 
They're saying fair ball, but if it was, it wasn't by much. And now hold on just a second here. It would appear that they're going to discuss whether this, in fact, stayed inside the foul pole. They're going to go inside and have a look at the video replay, as we'll take a look and let you decide for yourself. All right, the video review seems over, and the home run is indeed going to stand, so the replay will uphold the original call, and that was a case of better safe than sorry. And now hold on just a second here. It would appear that they're going to discuss whether this, in fact, stayed inside the foul pole. They're going to go inside and have a look at the video replay, as we'll take a look and let you decide for yourself. All right, the video review seems over, and the home run is indeed going to stand, so the replay will uphold the original call, and that was a case of better safe than sorry. Up next now is Fernando Tatis Jr. Yes, he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Sets the target low here and it misses one and one. One out, nobody on. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. And he comes back with a gorgeous slider there for strike two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Now batting. Third baseman. Stepping in, Manny Machado. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. A ball and a strike now to Machado. Bases are empty here with two men out. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. Not being very aggressive right now. Oh, he breaks out the hook there. Good for strike two. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. Struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. The Padres get one in the inning, and it comes on the solo home run. Four, five, and six coming up to start the seventh. It's now two to one, Friars. Jose Castillo comes on now, and this move looks to be all about playing the matchup here. Yeah, and I don't Number think there's 42. any doubt about that, Matt. Okay. They want the lefty-lefty matchup, and that's usually the right move, but we'll just have to see how this plays out. And that'll Good bring in Charlie point. Blackman. He'll lead right things field. off here in this one-run contest. Blackman. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can.